his way, bro. Yeah. So I just went to Crip just now. Okay. Like he'd, he'd prefer for you to kind of approach him first before you want to film. But for the meantime, I can't allow the, the camera. All right, the video. I'll, I'll turn it off. Yeah. I'll turn it off. Welcome, my fellow Cerulians. So as you saw from the intro, things got a little bit peak for me when it came to reviewing the space, crepes and cones. But fortunately for me, fortunately for you guys, I was able to still get enough content before things went a little bit left. So without further ado, let's go straight into the review. So here I am at the famous crepes and cones. Crepes and cones, you don't know. So really, really excited. Um, I haven't actually even looked at the menu. They do quite a lot. So got starters, got mains, burgers, kids menu. So kids menu is like $6.99, which comes with a main side and a drink, soft drinks, milkshakes, Greek shakes, cocktails, mocktails, freak of the week cocktail, got smoothies, hot drinks, slush poppies, oh, wow, and desserts as well. So, um, it's quite a lot going on here. Time to decide what to feast on. So after a painful round of ordering, uh, certain people on this table taking their sweet time just to get their orders in. We finally got everything sorted. You know what it is guys, it's that time to go to the little boys room and show you exactly what state it's in. Let's go. All right, so I'm in the sp toilet space. It's actually quite spacious in here. So I think we've got separate cubicles. The ladies, disabled. I quite like this. Crepes and cones. This is actually nice. Big space. It's nice and vibrant. I have to say, this is probably one of the best um, toilets here that I've seen in a restaurant. I like the fact that you get your own individual cubicle and the cubicles aren't small. Like, I mean, it's not massive, but it's a decent space. As you can see, I mean, I don't know what is wrong with like, a lot of these um, restaurants, they love using these small basins. I guess it's probably cost effective, but the problem with it is that because the basin is so small, you're prone to make a lot of mess on the floor, um, splash a lot of water on the floor, but I mean, it is decent. That's a, <laughs> that's a very loud hand dryer. Does the job. Mirror. Like, I'm actually impressed. And it, it smells fresh in here, it's clean. Uh, you got a nice little poster. If you sprinkle, when you tinkle, please be neat and wipe the seat. Yeah, little, bad, little advice for some of you nasty, nasty, nasty um, diners who come into the restaurant and just leave a lot of crap in this space. Sort that out. Portion, that rice portion is, is, a, is a baby portion rice. Come on. This is a nine pound meal. Just try this um, Kama Sutra. I don't know what it's got in it, but guys, it bangs. Absolutely delicious. Sex in a glass. This is a very naughty cocktail. Look at the assets and that. She got a back off. Look at the back off there. Look at the back off. She's called Freak of the Week. It's decent. It's decent. What's this? Wild Thoughts. Yeah, I'm ordering this next. It's very, very sweet, but this, it's quite strong. The alcohol is there. 
Yeah. So yeah, the fries came. I have to be honest. They do taste good, but they're lukewarm. They're not hot. They're not piping hot. It almost tastes like they've been sitting around in the kitchen for a while. The seasoning is nice. It's crunchy, crispy, but nah. I'm not that impressed with the fries, I have to be honest. Let's try this quarter chicken and see how it holds up to like Nando's, if it's Nando's standards or if it exceeds that. It's got a generous um, helping of, um, I think what they call Doroy sauce. I don't really know what it consists of, to be honest. But um, it looks like it's flame grilled. Okay, the chicken is served at the right temperature. I was a bit worried because the fries are not. But the chicken, chicken's really good. I feel that the sauce is, it's a nice balance of sweet and savory. I can't really put my finger on what, what type of sauce it is, but it's a good sauce. I think it works well with the chicken and the skin it's nice and crispy so what we got here yeah, is um the turkey hot dog so on the menu it says it's a it's a beef hot dog but it actually turns out they don't have beef hot dogs so it's a turkey hot dog what looks like it's got i don't know some kind of crispy dressing and cheese looks like parsley and I, I'm assuming it's barbecue sauce. It's got a nice smoky, um, smoky taste. Decent. Not the best hot dog I've had, but pretty decent. Red is a bit hard. Mmm. I agree. I think the bread, the bun could be softer. They use like a nice soft brioche bun. What's your take on um, the hot dog? It has nice flavours, but it's not hot. And the bread is a bit hard. It's a bit hard. Yeah, I have to agree. I have to agree. See that cheese in us? Nah. This mac and cheese. It's lacking salt. It's nice and crispy, nice and creamy. That crispiness at the top and the creaminess in the, um, the actual pasta itself. I like it, but it is lacking salt. I think if they had just a little bit of salt, it'd be perfect. I have to ask what this is for. Okay. I have to ask what this is for. I'm vlogging. Vlogging? Yeah. Um, but you don't really allow vloggers on this prep, so Okay, Sorry? We don't normally allow vloggers like, to film on their script occasions beforehand. Really? Wow. For what company? Because what? For what company, sir? Wow. You know, I've been doing this for about three years, yeah? And this yeah. is the first time I've actually heard this. Like, like I, I go around loads of different restaurants. I know, obviously, you're doing your job, yeah, but I'm not... I don't know, yeah. you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, I'm just like, wow, like, 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 I'm... Like, I'm Wow, because like I go around um, showcasing loads of different restaurants all around London. You can see it on YouTube, and it's never really been a problem. In fact, some some restaurant owners they they encourage it. So the fact that the fact that you know they they're not cool with that is quite disappointing. It's not been a cool, but obviously with the nature of the business and who the owners are, yeah, like you've got to be careful as to who's filming in the restaurant. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. But if you can let me know like your company and whatnot. Well, I'm not a company. I'm just like I'm just me. I'm just yeah. just a just a one man band. Expressing my expressing my personal opinion on my own personal take on these different places that I go to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, strictly that. Okay. So, on what forum do you kind of... YouTube, your... YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. What's your name? Riley Sorolla. Riley yeah. Sorolla. Sorolla, okay, cool. Yeah. Right, I'll give him a call quickly and then... Yeah? yeah. Alright, cool. 
very interesting. So um, you got you guys saw you guys saw that. So like, obviously, they need to know that they're cool with me filming in here. And like, like I was telling the guy, I've been doing this for about three years, and I've never heard of that before. Where you need prior permission to actually film and vlog about a space. Yeah. So I just went to Crip just now. Okay. Like he'd, he'd prefer for you to kind of approach him first before you want to film. Like we don't, obviously vloggers come all the time. Yeah. In terms of filming. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So he'd prefer if you approach him, like just message him on Instagram, DM him or something. Alright, cool. For the, for the meantime, I can't allow the, the camera. Alright, I'll, I'll turn it off. Yeah. I'll turn it off. No disrespect, obviously, but it's just everyone that wants to come in. Yeah. They also ask for permission first to film. Alright, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Right, before I touch on my final thoughts on Crepton and Cone, I just wanted to first add that when I first heard that Crept and Conan were launching a restaurant, I was actually genuinely happy for them. Happy with them because, you know, you see young black males, they are not represented in the, um, the most positive way. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of negativity surrounding young black males. And so seeing that these two young males, they came from an area that is riddled with negative connotations and seeing them making positive moves from the music to now this business venture, I'm sorry, but I had to rate that. And um, for me personally, I get really, really happy when I see black people in general actually doing positive stuff, um, especially when it comes to actually um, building businesses and helping out their community. To me, I just have to rate that. So I was really, really excited to review Crepes and Cones and I got a lot of requests from the Sorolians, but I did also get some mixed reviews about this space. Now, I looked at it like this. These guys, they're, they're new on the scene when it comes to, you know, food. Um, and of course, there's gonna be some teething issues along the way. It's a big hype, you know, they're, they're a big name and so there's going to be a lot of people rushing to the space and of course they're going to make mistakes along the way but you would hope that as time goes on they'll learn from it. So for me, my logic was I didn't want to go there straight away because people who watch my content regularly, you know that I don't bullshit. Like I give you the unfiltered truth. And so if a place isn't banging, I'm going to say it's not banging. If it bangs, it bangs. Of course, taste is subjective. And so this is just my own personal opinion. Um, so yeah, I was really, really disappointed to hear that my man was telling me, yeah, you can't actually film in this space. But I'm going to address that a little bit later. Let's just talk about my final thoughts. Starting with taste, I'm going to start with the good. So. The fries, like I said, they were seasoned well. The chicken, it was like a quarter chicken. So they do like quarter and half and they have this, this really lovely sauce that goes with it. I think it works really, really well. The skin of the chicken was very crispy. It was cooked very well. All the way through, it was cooked very well. It was delicious. It went down very well. Sadly, there was one key element that let the food down and that was the temperature. So it, this wasn't just me, like all the guests in my party, we were a party of five. Like we had hot dogs, we had, um, like I said, the chicken, uh, mac and cheese. Not one of them tasted bad, but the temperature really, really let it down. The food wasn't piping hot. In fact, the food was more to between cold and lukewarm. So that tells me that the food has been laying around in the kitchen for a while. And what makes me even more um, troubled is the fact that when we ordered the food, it didn't take long to arrive. So that tells me that maybe the food was prepared before we even ordered the food. Because for the food to come that quick and for it to be cold, it doesn't really make sense. It should be piping hot. So for taste, I'm going to have to give it a 2 out of 5. Alright, moving on to customer service. So, the staff, they were very, very friendly. I have to say, because I did hear about how um, the customer service is really, really poor in this space. And I, I have to do, disagree here. I think the customer service was really, really good in terms of the way that the staff were very attentive. Um, it wasn't hard to get hold of staff. They came regularly. Like It didn't take long to take our orders. 
Um, the first round of uh, food didn't take long to come, but they did let themselves down with the desserts because the desserts did take a while to come and when they did come, it was staggered. So half of um, our party had our desserts and the others waited even longer. So um, I think on that basis, I'm going to give customer service, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I've got nothing bad to say about this space when it comes to cleanliness. Um, you saw you saw the space in the toilets, spotless, clean. Um, the dining space was clean. Didn't get a good look at the kitchen, but the bar area, the the area, the space as a whole, it looks really really clean. Looks like they're looking after the space. So on that basis, I'm going to give cleanliness a five out of five. Now ambience. Again, I think this space is really really good when it comes to ambience. It's got a nice setting. You know, you've got um, TV monitors in the background with music, you've got the bar area, um, the space, the seating area, it's not cramped, it's quite spacious and comfortable as well. You know, you go to some diners, you go to some restaurants and the chairs are quite hard and, you know, a bit, a bit harsh on your butt, but no complaints here, it was nice. And um, I think on that basis, I'm going to give it a five out of five. Now we talk about value. So the bill came to roughly was £150. So that, that works out as average £30 per head. Now we actually went ham on the drinks. That's something I probably forgot to mention in uh, the taste. The cocktails are banging. The cocktails were brilliant and we spent quite a few on the cocktails. So on that basis £30 isn't actually expensive but the fact that food was served lukewarm and even the desserts, the desserts were even more disastrous because apple crumble for example is supposed to have that crumbly action going on it didn't have that, it was quite, it was quite soggy, the crumble was quite soggy it reminded me of when you, you buy something in the supermarket and you just shove it in the microwave I don't know if that's the process that they did, if they microwaved it, but it didn't taste like it was oven baked. My waffle and what well, was a waffle crumble, it was it was cold. In fact, all the desserts, they were not warm. And I had to send mine back. And when it came back, it 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 clearly had the indication that it was microwaved because it looked disturbed and unkempt. So even though the price is sensible because of the quality of what they were bringing out i can't really rate so for value i'm gonna have to give it a two out of five um it's with a really heavy heart because i really 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 wanted this place to bang but i've got to say as it is that was my personal experience at crips and cones and on that basis you know i have to give it a miss sorry but i have to um <clears throat> Addressing the issue with my man who was telling me that I couldn't film in a space Well, that's all fair and well, but you know, we're living in a digital age where everyone's going to review a space And even if it's not going to be someone like me that comes with this big camera You've got snapchatters, people come into spaces, they snapchat, Instagram, take pictures Other people are going to ask, how is it? People are going to say how they feel about the space, so Trying to prevent people from, from reviewing a space, it's not going to solve the issue. I understand that, you know, obviously with the name and the brand, these guys are trying to, you know, protect the image and whatnot. But I think what would actually be better is if you encourage, and I'm not even saying that these guys um, told this manager, oh, he can't film in there because I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't know about this. Um, this manager story saying that he's gonna go on up to Crep to see if it's cool for me to film in there because I'm sure Crep is a busy guy. Regardless of that, people are gonna say how they feel about space, and it's not something you can control. We've got Google, we've got TripAdvisor, we've got so many different outlets where you can actually share your opinion about space, and we influence other people. If Crep and Cono are actually watching this video, I like to tell them that. There was only two things I feel that let the experience down. The first one, I said it already, it was the, the temperature of the food. So I think maybe actually having some kind of meeting with the staff in the kitchen because something something is going wrong there. 
Like, the food is seasoned well, but the temperature is wrong. So overall, the food is not great. So there's something going on in the kitchen. And secondly, I think there, there is some kind of miscommunication with staff, because even though I said the staff were very friendly and attentive, when we first ordered our meal, within two minutes, another member of staff came to us, wanted to take our order. They should have already known that we had placed our order. And also, yeah, another one. When we got our bill, initially, they gave us a bill for 60 pounds. Now, five of us, mains, drinks, desserts, you know that's not 60 pounds. We knew straight away it was the wrong bill. So, we being honest, you know, we obviously told my guy that he gave us the wrong bill. Um, but this guy, didn't, I don't know, he didn't really seem that interested because he just said, okay, we'll change it for you. And he disappeared. He didn't come back. We had to go and get another member of staff who then gave us the bill. But then the bill, even though it had our items on it, they charged us extra. So we had to tell them, okay, we didn't get this. We didn't get that. We didn't get that. So the bill came up for £160. This guy didn't really address this, apologise or, you know, end of the day, we could have just been like, okay, they've given us £60, we're just going to skedaddle and the restaurant would have been short £160, which is not a good look. So, like I said before, temperature of the food and the communication with the staff, those are two things that I think this restaurant needs to address and if they can get those two things right, I think this restaurant is it has it has all the um it has all the elements of a very good restaurant i mean end of the day because of their name they are going to get customers we know that but you need to be thinking about longevity and what's the restaurant going to be like in in you know in long term five years ten years time if so many people are coming to the space and are having that kind of experience it's going to eventually hurt the business so that's just my advice for you guys, um, you know, you can take it or leave or whatnot, but um, I'm rambling. That's going to be the end of this review. If you like the video, you know what to do, give it a like, comment below, share the video and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week, mainly London food reviews, London restaurants all around. So, till next time, peace. Bwah.